As promised, we will stay here, bringing you Tin Caps Baseball on Xfinity and My TV tonight, a special feature broadcast as John Nolan, our own, will chat with Mark Pryor, who is in his first year out of being a pro baseball player, and it now is a part of the Padres front office, the former second overall pick back in 2001. Now in Fort Wayne, here to watch the Tin Caps and Dragons for this three-game series, and he's with John Nolan down by the Tin Caps dugout. And it's a pleasure right now to be joined by Mark Pryor, Special Assistant for Baseball Operations in the Padres organization. And Mark, welcome to Fort Wayne, your first visit here. That's pretty good. Hold on, let's let these people pass by real quick. Thank you. Tin Caps hosting the Dayton Dragons, and we're about to be joined by 2003 Chicago Cubs All-Star. Won 18 games in 03, a heck of a career. So you made your, a name for yourself about three hours away, but your first time here to Parkview Fields. Yeah, no, it's a it's a beautiful stadium, and uh, it's been fun coming here for these last three games and checking out the Tin Caps and having a good time at the ballpark. So now that you're in the front office with the Padres, your first year on that side of things, when you come here to a low A affiliate like the Tin Caps, what's your objective for a trip like this? Uh, well, it's twofold. I think from a professional standpoint for the club, I'm you know checking in on our players and writing reports on our guys and seeing how they're developing and coming along in the season and. You know, throughout the year, guys come in from the front office uh, to check in on guys and just kind of have a benchmark along the way. And, you know, for me personally, it's, it's a chance for me to, it's the first time seeing a lot of these guys play, uh, play over a course of two or three games and really get a good idea of, you know, what their skill set is and what they can do and, and hopefully what they can provide in the future. And what are your impressions of this 10 cap staff? You know, it's been good. Obviously, the last two days they've played really well. Uh, Tuesday they had a great game. Bowers has been swinging the bat really well, uh, made some great plays at first. And, you know, what I've seen is, you know, a lot of energy. Uh, guys come to work, you know, every day, practice, you know, before the games, and they've been playing hard. So uh, I think that's what you want to see because a lot of these guys might be playing their first professional season, and it's a long season. It can be a grind. So it's glad to see the energy and, and the enthusiasm still, you know, pretty high. What's the biggest lesson you can share with a single-A pitcher? You know, throw strikes. You know, I, I think we get wrapped up in, you know, velocity so much in this game at all levels and in the youth baseball that the most still the number one thing is, is throwing strikes and being able to execute your pitches down in the zone. So uh, if I had any encouragement to young people and young players is, you know, make sure that you can throw strikes and execute, you know, fastball uh, at any time and at any count. Tin Caps down 4 nothing here against the Dragons, an affiliate of the Reds. A year ago, you were in the Reds organization, AAA Louisville. How has the transition been from being on the mound to now here at this viewpoint? Uh, it's been a little different. You know, I, I think the, uh, you know, as a player, you're, you're always looking inward and looking at how you're doing and what you're doing in, in relation to everybody. Uh, but now in this position, you're, you're trying to look at the, the big picture uh, and kind of get an idea of where everything kind of fits in the puzzle uh, at, at all levels, from the big league level all the way down. And, you know, the, obviously the common goal is to win, you know, a World Series. So, I mean, the reality is just trying to find out, you know, where is everybody going to fit into that mold, whether it's this year, next year, uh, or a few years down the line. Joe Hudson retired for the first out of the inning. How have you liked the experience? Do you have any goals established for yourself yet in the front office term of things? You know, the experience has been great. Uh, I've learned a lot. I've been on the job now for... I guess almost seven months. I got hired right off the first of the year, and uh, just the things that I've been learning inside the office, how things get prepared, uh, how how they build and construct rosters up and down the levels in the big league level and player movement. You know, so for personally, you know, going forward, it's just to to learn as much as I can and and hopefully be an asset, you know, in the front office to you know help them, you know, build a ball club that is contends every year. Reynoso beats out a ground ball for an infield single. And Mark, how about for you, your career with the Cubs? Cut shorter than I imagine you would have liked to, to have gone due to arm injuries. What kind of advice would you have for any young pitchers out there tuning in tonight to how they can have a long career? Well, you know, I think obviously first and foremost, a lot of it is, you know, can be luck or, and, and just, you know, God-given abilities that, you know, some guys get hurt, some guys don't get hurt. but. You know, for me, again, I think it goes back to what I said earlier. For one, it's throw strikes. If you can throw strikes, you're hopefully more efficient with your pitches. 
Uh, you don't get yourself into long innings and long stressful innings. Uh, I think growing up, though, the main thing is is to enjoy the game. You know, work hard, play hard, have fun doing it, but then make sure that you're giving yourself some time off, whether that's uh, during the fall, playing other sports, doing other things. I, I, I worry uh, about the specification or, or, or players becoming so specific in their sports, uh, you know, such an early age that sometimes I just feel like they don't get a chance to, to be well-rounded as far as an athlete. You know, I think sometimes we got to be, you want to be an athlete first and worry about picking the sport second. Um, you know, but that's just my two cents, and that's kind of the way you know I view it. But uh, just have fun playing and enjoy the game, and, and I think that's the most important thing. Is if you have a passion for the game, that's going to carry you a long way. All right, Mark Pryor, assistant for baseball operations in the Padres organization. Thanks so much for the time, and enjoy the rest of your stay here in Fort Wayne. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. Let's go back up to Mike and Dave. Our roving reporter John Nolan down with Mark Pryor, and great to hear some insight from him on what he has to say for younger pitchers as well. Van Meter gets the out over at first retiring Dahl and that's two down. I think that's what he says is somewhat different than what you see with a lot of players these days is that it's enjoy the game. Don't spend your entire middle school high school career whatever it may be focusing on one sport and really enjoy those years that you have to flesh out what your athletic career might be. 